A landmark court case began today in Oklahoma that is being closely watched across the United States and in Canada too. The state government seeks to hold a giant drug maker to account for its alleged part in the opioid crisis. It says Johnson & Johnson knowingly downplayed the addictive nature of those painkillers and contributed to a fatal oversupply. If you oversupply, people will die. This trial is seen as a precedent for more than 1,800 similar suits filed by states, cities, and counties. Oklahoma's Attorney General will argue that Johnson & Johnson ignored documented evidence of deadly addiction epidemics. And embarked on a cynical, deceitful, multi-million dollar brainwashing campaign to establish opioid analgesics as the magic drug. In our defense of this case, the company responds that even the federal drug regulator had stated opioids carry a low risk of addiction. How can Johnson & Johnson be blamed for the epidemic, it asks, when doctors, pharmacists and drug dealers all played a role and patients wanted relief. Serious chronic pain is a soul-stealing, life-robbing thief. In Canada, a similar legal fight is brewing. Yesterday, Ontario introduced legislation to join a suit that BC launched last year against dozens of drug manufacturers and wholesalers. All of the government plaintiffs are seeking enormous damages to cover public costs of the epidemic. But their cases come down to the human cost counted in misery and lost lives. If I can go back, the main thing that I would tell Austin would be Austin, there is no shame in asking for help.